the Jet Airways turbulence remains our top focus. Government sources tell us that Jet Airways lenders are set to keep the airline afloat by picking up a substantial stake. Banks may take over the carrier for the next two to three months before they rope in a new buyer. This even as the airline sees an exodus of pilots over the last few days. Around 150 pilots are likely to have walked out and the Aviators Guild has written to the Prime Minister saying the airline is on the verge of collapse. Timsi Jaipuria and Anu Sharma join us now. Timsi, to you first, what are the lenders planning? Well, that's the message that we are getting from Nordblock. Sources are indicating that as per the proposal submitted by the lenders to Finance Minister, which they have shared regarding the entire jet issue, is that lenders would first like to ta uh, take a step forward, try and take up substantial stake in the company because they feel the company as a whole is a very good property, is a very good asset. The business in which uh, Jet Airways is, is actually going through rough waters and that is what got the company in the wrong footing but yes they want to first uh, get in uh, into the company with a substantial stake they would like to settle down the dues right now as the immediate need of the hour for the company probably settle salaries etc try and get in some comfort for another two to three months and only then look forward to selling the company to a new promoter but yes right now they want existing promoters to step down also for the time being it is very clear that uh, only lenders will have the say. Lenders are ready to take the helm uh, and try and move forward only after two to three months by lo looking out for a new buyer, for a new person to come and uh, take, uh, take the charge of the company. So let's see what happens finally. But yes, as of now, lenders will have their say. Lenders have uh, tried and uh, conveyed their commercial interest also in the company to the government. And government is in favor of the proposal that lenders have shared. We'll keep you posted on it. All right, MC, thanks a lot for that. Meanwhile, we have Anu as well with us. Anu, things are going for, from bad to worse for Jet Airways. Now we learn that 200 pilots have quit. Uh, in jet quit jet airways in the last few days. Also, we believe more flights are uh, on certain routes stand cancelled. So the number of uh, people who had left jet airways, which was around 150, now we are hearing that the number has is reaching 200 and uh, may even cross 200 in the next uh, couple of days. Uh, now, uh, as for the sources, uh, basically the pilots uh, had also written to the prime minister recently saying that. The airline is on the verge of a collapse and uh, uh, the stress on this section of employees is particularly uh, very dangerous as it can compromise the safety of passengers. As far as the routes are concerned, uh, we learned that uh, Jet Airways has suspended a lot of routes uh, just like Bangalore, Singapore, Delhi, Abu Dhabi, Delhi, Dammam, Delhi, Dhaka, Delhi, Hong Kong. Kolkata, Dhaka. So these are some of the routes which the airline has cancelled. Now, we understand that the airline currently has, a, has uh, made a schedule for uh, 20 Boeing 737 in its fleet, and this will be effective from March 21st to the end of April. Now, uh, the, the larger picture is that though the lenders, uh, the ball is in the lenders' court and uh, the lenders will have to form a long-term plan, but the industry sources say that the lenders will have to take into account the kind of tables and liabilities that the airline uh, uh, is uh, accumulating on a daily basis. So that will have to uh, watch out for what the lenders uh, come to uh, a decision uh, with regard to the payables and the uh, cancellation refunds, etc. that the airline has to pay. All right, Anu, thanks a lot for joining us and giving us all those details. Well, let's move on. Other stock that will be in focus today is Glenmark, as CNBC TV 18 has accessed Form 483 issue to the Goa plant. Ekta Batra joins us to take us through all the details. Hi, Ekta, good morning. The observations are serious? Hi, uh, morning Sonal. Well, you know, it just seems as though the observations are not serious at this point in time, largely procedural as per all of the conversations that I've had. But obviously, it does result in some amount of uncertainty with regards to the five observations, since it is one of Glenmark's most important plants. The Goa facility contributes significantly to the U.S. sales. And uh, this particular inspection had taken place. It was a CGMP, which means that it was a general good manufacturing practice inspection of the entire facility and lasted from 7th of March to around 15th of March. Now, in terms of the observations themselves, like I mentioned, 
largely look procedural. So, for example, they do, um, you know, go on the fact that equipment and utensils were not cleaned in order to prevent contamination. Lab controls did not include a stas establishment of scientifically sound, appropriate sampling plans, etc. So, it doesn't, you know, come stand out in terms of any sort of data integrity issues or OOS issues or out of specification issues. So, as of now, it seems as though yes, um, it could take some time to remedy it and that uncertainty could probably weigh on the stock. All right, uh, uncertainty could weigh on Glenmark. Thanks a lot for that, Ekta.